It has been two and a half years after a major earthquake hit Nipo. To help the quake victims, city volunteers from Malaysia once again headed to this country. This time, they collaborated with local volunteers to host a free clinic and relief distribution for two days. The volunteers finally made their way to the village of Kalika. The only school in this village is on the hillside, which is very shabby. The Nepalese businessman led city volunteers to visit here, and he is impressed with the volunteers' disaster relief work. So the first time when we came here, he looked everything thoroughly. He asked the school, uh, we have the meeting, and said, what do you really need right now? What we can solve the, solve the most urgent needs, what you, what you need in the school? All the students wore slippers to school. I remember it was winter at the time. The students didn't have winter clothes to keep them warm. Seeing the situation, I felt heartbroken. Malaysian city volunteers fulfilled their promise on this day as they not only brought the needed supplies to the school, but they also gave each student a pair of shoes and uniforms. I still had shoes to wear to school when I was seven. As I grow, I can no longer wear them. Now I have shoes to wear, so I will cherish them and wear them to school every day. Because of the earthquake, Tzidi started their relief work in the Buddha's hometown. To continue this love, the volunteers headed to an elementary school located in the mountainous area the next day. In the early morning, as the Street Mahendra School, which is the two hours drive from the post capital, many villagers have already waited for Tzidi's free clinic and relief distribution to begin. Volunteers warm everyone's hearts with love, songs, and dance, with their passion moving everyone on the scene. I feel very happy coming to this free clinic because there are many people coming here to solve our health problems. They also dance and sing. I feel quite happy. <laughs> Besides the free clinic, I think this event is very meaningful, which also makes them happy. Even though it was busy, it was so much fun. It did not feel like work. It felt like you were actually giving something. During the free clinic, these patients fainted suddenly. Thankfully, with the doctor's immediate help, everything was fine with him. In the afternoon, another group of volunteers spent half an hour walking to the Sri Surya Jyoti School to distribute winter coats. The principal of this elementary school is deeply moved by the volunteers' dedication. <laughs> After receiving the red envelopes of blessing and wisdom, the children will show smiles on their faces. Although the aid supplies that the volunteers have provided are limited, the sincerity and love they have shown to the recipients is priceless.